What's up guys, welcome to your fourth Android tutorial for the new Boston, again with me Travis. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is basically set up a package, set up a project that we're going to work with from here on out. So before we can set up a project, you guys want to go into set up your preferences for the most part and locate the SDK that we downloaded in the last tutorial. Now if you're running on Windows, you want to go up to the Windows tab. That's where I got confused in that other tutorial. And under the Windows tab, there should be something called Preferences right down here. But on a Mac Mac computer, you want to go under the Eclipse tab, and the Preferences is right here. So you click that, and then you go to this folder called Android that's now located, or now, uh, you're welcome, Android SDK, you're welcome. Proceed. All right, computer's frozen. Awesome. So. Okay, no, it's not. But okay, so sorry for losing focus there. Go into this Android tab, or just click on the Android, and all sorts of errors are coming up. And now what we want to do is locate the SD card, SDK folder that we set up. So we're gonna hit browse, and again, I told you guys to set it up in your hard drive, so it's pretty easy to find. So just go to your C drive or your main hard drive and look for the SD the Android SDK folder right here. Just click on this folder. You don't want to go into anything in here. Just click on the whole folder, hit open, and it'll load some of, or hit apply and then it'll load some of our platforms that we downloaded. Again, we downloaded the 2.2 in the Google Maps. So, we want to select 2.2 because that's what we're going to start with. Hit apply or hit okay. And now what we can do is right click within our package explorer. Now if you guys exited out of this package explorer because you're trying to clean up and now you're like, oh crap, we needed that. It's pretty easy to get back. Down in this bottom left corner, you click and right here is package explorer. And then we can just drag and drop this into our workspace. And again, right click, go to new, and you'll either have an Android project right here. If not, that's okay. I don't, obviously. So we're gonna go to other, and we're gonna go to this Android folder and set up an Android project like that. Now, this is the basic setup for setting up a new project. We're going to give it a name. We're going to call it the New Boston. And we're also we also need to select our build target. And our build target is again what platform we're developing for. We're going to develop for the 2.2. And here's some other things that we need to define. Now we have an application name. This is what's going to appear on the user's end when they're scrolling through all their applications. This is the name of our application. So we're going to leave that as the new boss. And if you guys want to change that, that's okay. The package name, basically we want this to be unique because when we put our um, application on the marketplace, if there's another app that has this package name, you won't be able to upload it. So we're going to make it unique. In general, generally, uh, you want two identifiers. So you can say like t dot t, and that'd be two identifiers for the most part. But generally, what people do to make make sure their application is unique is they if they have a website, they do it backwards, like com dot uh, the new Boston dot Travis, and that's just going to be our package name. Hopefully, that's unique enough for the marketplace. Uh, again, you need two identifiers, and you do that by hitting the period to create a new identifier for the most part. Now this create activity, this is basically the activity or the class that's going to start when our emulator um, or when our application launches. So we're going to call this starting point like that. One word, if you guys have two words, it's going to give you an error and you won't be able to finish. So make sure it's one word. We're going to call this activity starting point. And we're just going to hit finish and it's going to set up our project for us. As you can see right here, gives us an error because it's still building the project. It takes a little bit. All right, so there we go. We have our project set up, and I'm going to kind of define what this project holds and how to add folders to it in the next tutorial. So hopefully you guys got followed along and understood how to establish a new project, and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Peace.